Looking to unlock something big? Welcome to the world of robotics. I am Rick and I'm going to teach you robotics. In this class, you will learn how to become a good roboticist. You will learn how to build robots and how to program them. You are going to learn all the important skills that are required to become a roboticist and work for the important robotics companies. We are going to learn about robot hardware. Robot hardware includes the body part of the robot, for instance, the robot sensors. Sensors are what allows the robot to perceive the world. For example, detect the face of a person or detect that there is an obstacle in its path. Robot hardware also includes motors and control boards. The motors and control boards allow the robot to move in the wall and do actions like grasping a can or cleaning a room. Also, we are going to learn about robot software. The robot software are the programs that control the robots. Those are like the brain of the robots. And for that, we will use ROS, the Robot Operating System. ROS is like Windows for robots. You need to know ROS if you want to work with robots because many companies are using ROS in their products. But before starting to learn ROS, you need to learn three things first. The first one is the Linux operating system because the computers of the robots, they use Linux. The second is Python and C++ because the programs that we will be creating for the robots will be based on those two languages. And third, is the ROS itself. We'll go step by step into those ROS learning lessons. If you want to start right now learning Python and Linux, check out those free courses that we at The Construct have prepared for you. Those courses will teach you Python and Linux using online robot simulations, providing practice-based learning. You can even earn a certificate that is shareable on LinkedIn. On every class, I will assign you some homework. So you better do this homework before coming to the next class, okay? And here we go to the first homework. Do a research about what is ROS and why is it important to learn ROS. Also, at the end of every class, I will ask you a question so I can know you better and then prepare better the next classes. Then the question for today is, what do you prefer the most in robotics to work on the hardware side or to work on the software side. Remember that any answer is correct. Just let me know what you think and you can put your question answer below on the comments of the video. Please do your homework, answer the question, but the journey doesn't stop here. Check out the next video of this series where we will get the full path to construct a robot starting from zero.